Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Wasteland 3 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I was thinking that guy was over there rubbing on your shoulders. <laughs> Not my Jesse shoulders. Jesse Cotter. Or whoever's shoulders that is. That's I guess Raven. that's Raven. Well, you guys both have purple or pink. I know. I mean. Quan's the only one who's not purpley enough for my purple club. Yeah. I don't want him here. It's just so much purple. <laughs> I like purple. <laughs> <laughs> now, you could always put him in purple, too, I guess. Yeah. If you wanted to. Uh, so, well, this guy's dancing out. Look at him go. The traveling busker. Me. Oh, Is he? No, I guess at a different down. angle, it looks like he... Yeah, it's just, tweaking. it depends on the way you look at him. We could talk to him and see what he has to say, but I don't care, so. <laughs> we're we're going to go to the sheriff today, guys. So we have to, although I'm not entirely sure, I don't think that's the right way. So we need to return and tell him that we completed the mission. And I do believe... These guys are loud. Yeah, they are. Like, might turn the TV down just a notch. Settle down. But we it, don't want to browse your wares. I believe we get some new armor, don't we? I think so. Merc mm -hmm. armor. Yep. So Which that's pretty cool. Exciting. All right, so let's return this quest and say, "Give me my armor." Give me the goods. How much you want to bet she tries to bring me in the Give back? Me the How much you want to bet she brings me in the back? As long as we get the goods, do oh, what you gotta we do. We already earned the goods. We need something extra if we're going in the back. Things. I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor, and you came through for me. No more Dorseys in my city, and everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. Some of my marshals weren't too sure about you, but I see now that they were dead wrong. Old Saul always knows best. Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brago. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? And if you happen to find proof that Brago helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Take down Brago for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe, and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. So one thing I'd, I'd like to know if you, if you guys have gotten far enough or played more than once to tell us is can you get different people to work at your base? Is there only one choice? You know, you got to get that doctor mm -hmm. or that armor or whatever, or are there multiple choices? Uh, because, yeah, Jinx just wanted to get the, the hope person, and I, I found myself wondering, I'm like, well, you know, 
what is the different interpretation of you know crime and punishment that, down the that, law. that hope has she like, might be too lenient yeah that's what i'm thinking so yeah I'm, I'm curious if there's multiple people you can hire there if there's just one so if you guys happen to know then let us know down in the comments below so if she does a shitty job we'll kick her out you know fire you're fired uh so we forgot to to upgrade when we first came in so we'll do that now oh, yeah. yeah so let's go ahead and do that uh praetorian's gonna get a point into intelligence so that we can get that extra skill and so that'll give us four skill points now and we're gonna do probably two into automatic weapons i have noticed that our hit chance has not quite been what i would like it to be so we're gonna put two points into that and then I'm also thinking that we're going to put two points into hard ass. So that we can make sure we can... ass just wasn't hard enough. Just wasn't hard enough, Jinx. Oh, that was only one point. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. Uh, I could put a point into leadership as well. You know what, we're going to save it so I can put it into, like, something else. Like, maybe explosives or something like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and confirm the changes. And let's get these other characters leveled up. Uh, so with Bear, we're going to put it into strength. Just because <laughs> he needs more strength. I, I think it's a, a great fit for him. Because not only does he do more damage with the melee weapons. But he gives him a lot more health. So look at his health comparatively. He's so strong. Yeah, he's really strong. Uh, so like, look at his health. He has 185 health compared to Praetorium with 125 and 55 for <laughs> Lucia. That's little old ladies. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I feel that that's really... Uh, a really good skill for him. So he's got three points, and we're going to put them into melee combat. And that's probably it. I guess we could do the survival. Does more animals, uh, more damage against animals and mutants. He loves animals, though. And Does he's he? a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> now, I guess we could save it to be able to put it into, you know, something else. Yeah, I suppose that's what... Although I don't think we have anybody doing the survival. You know what? We're going to do... We'll do one more Well, I point. guess Lucia is level two. Is she? Yeah. I guess we'll take a look here. I haven't really glanced at her very much. Uh, so let's go ahead and get an attribute point into something. She's got a lot into awareness, so she does a lot of damage with those, with any ranged weapons. Got, has good hit chance, but her action points are fairly low. I guess you don't really need that many action points for the, uh, uh, for the pistols, though. For the little pew pew. Yeah. Uh, putting one point into coordination, though, wouldn't increase her action points, unfortunately. All right. Uh, we could do more into speed so she can be fast. Nimbly, nimbly she might need, all. yeah, she might need to do that simply because she does not have very much health. True. Uh, because her, her strength is garbage. So maybe we'll do the speed so she'll be really fasty. Speedy. All right. So put the point into there. And then we have her skills. And let's see where we want to put this into. She, so she's our barter lady. Raven's a barter too. Okay. Yeah, we're both level two. Okay, I see that. I guess we just put it into. We need her to start hitting some shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you That'd just put the nice. three points into small arms. Uh, she can also do our, our weapon mod and we can continue putting points into that. But let's put it into the small arms, guys, because she's still missing stuff despite all the points she has in that. All right, so Jinx is leveling her characters up For now. One, I went with awareness so he can hit some shit. Mm -hmm. Put a point into automatic weapons so he can hit shit harder. <laughs> and then for his perk, I got the double tap. The first hit just opens him up for the real kill shot if you attack a target uh, twice. Oh, more. did you get an extra perk? Yeah. For Quan. Oh, uh, okay. He's a higher level than everybody else, isn't he? Yeah. So if he hits a target twice in a row, the second is always a critical hit. Oh, nice. So he can hit shit real hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then for Jinxie here, I wasn't expecting to level her up. Mm -hmm. And then we turned in that quest. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you don't know what you're going to put the points into? Yeah. You could just do it later. We could just go True. move along. Yeah, we could do that. If you're wanting, unless you wanted to do your other character, because I think you did plan yeah, on for leveling. Yeah, Raven, I, I was planning on extra, um, extra yeah. leveling her up. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to go with words. Yeah, I was going to go with another point in intelligence for her. Mm -hmm. And then some more nerd stuff. Nice. That's it. We still haven't used that damn ferret gun. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that used. 
Stupid. Like you've Stupid had, here. we've had multiple fights since you've True. gotten that gun, and you still have not shot and shot any any frozen fucking ferrets out, Jinx. I don't know. Because it's cruel. <sighs> What's going? On? What are you talking about? They're dead. So They're cruel. frozen ferrets. There's nothing <laughs> cruel about it. Oh yes, that's right. We're gonna buy a couple things too, guys. Uh, we wanted to. Do we need more health stuff? I don't know if we need more health stuff. We'll take a look at that real quick. That's not what we needed, though. You ran off and left me. Well, you can catch Go up. Go to the market. Yep, I have the market, Jinx. Uh, we could always get more med hypos because everybody uses those. Yeah, I guess we'll get more med hypos. Uh, but what I wanted to get well, is turrets, guys. Children. We want more turrets. Yeah, more turrets. Let's trade. Here you go, children. Salvation is All right. So we're going to buy a couple more of these guys. Just maybe three more. It's probably fine. And she has one turret chassis left. Okay, that's junk. That's not. Yeah, that's the chassis. <laughs> that's the junk. Yeah, we don't need the, the chassis. All right, so do we need any of this stuff here? No, it looks like all junk, unless we need more healing stuff. Do we have any antidotes? Like if we were... Uh, if we were poisoned, would we just die? I think yeah, we would. Yeah, probably. All right, well, let's buy a couple antidotes just in case. We got this sweet smelling shroom. We still got that <laughs> sweet smelling shroom that we do, Jinx. All right, so I guess that's it from her. Uh, I think the turret was maybe, was it this guy? I don't know. I was thinking it was her for some reason. All right, so let's shop in her wares. She's got all kinds of guns. Look at all this cool shit, the bone crusher weapon. All this cool stuff, man. And it's not like we don't have the money for it either. Oh, I forgot we got the Merc stuff. We gotta oh, put that yeah. on somebody. We need to look at that. Yeah, we need to put that on somebody. Uh, so let's see. Does he not have the turrets? It doesn't look like it. These are just regular old weapons. Clown hammer. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I want a clown hammer. Not seeing the turrets. I don't know who had those. Maybe it was... Oh, there's one more merchant. There's this guy right here. I don't remember what this guy was. Looks like he's food or something. Snapping. Snapping Jimmy Bob. <laughs> yeah, he, he probably doesn't have... Oh, nope. He does have the turrets. Figures this is the last one that we shop with. Of course. How else could this go down? Uh, these are not that expensive. These uh, weapon upgrades, weapon mods. They're well, I mean, it's just tape. <laughs> True. It's a taped grip, though. I think you're buying the grip. Uh, so, yeah, let's get more of those machine turrets. Those were, were useful. Yeah, I really like those. Mm hmm. So, I mean, I wish they're, I could use them. they're also not very expensive either. So, let's just buy a crap ton of them. So, we'll have plenty of turrets for tough fights. I made Jinx luckier. You made her luckier? <laughs> yeah. Well, he just, she just called me stupid. Is she calling me stupid for I making don't know. myself luckier? I don't know. I was so walking by her, and she said it to me, so who knows? That's not nice. Oh, yes, that's right. We have uh, the armor we can we can equip. So it's the uh, Merc armor, plus four. I don't know how that compares. It's definitely not better than the tactical armor or the scrap armor, for that matter. It's about equal with the scrap armor, it seems. Yeah. It just looks nice. Probably looks cooler, though. Uh, you get evasion from the, the leggings. So who Ooh, all I needs... I leggings. So who all needs armor? Oh, here's the Merc helmet as well. I'll take it. Are you going to wear it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you can wear the armor, Jinx. I know that Lucia needs armor, but we could just put whatever you take off yourself. She gets your hand-me-downs. <laughs> See, that's what we'll do. Whatever you take off, I'll put on. Onto Lucia, because, yeah, right. she doesn't have any armor, and she sucks, so she needs it. Uh, she didn't have any strength, though, so I couldn't put that scrap armor on her. I'm gonna get naked. Yeah, all right. Get naked, and we're not even seeing any of this. <laughs> all right, so I think she already has the scrap, or the uh, scout armor, so we just need the, the additional bonuses here. I guess I can take the healing bonus here. It's not what I would prefer on her, but I suppose, well, I guess she doesn't really need that. All right, we'll put the scout pants on. Equip that. And did you not have a helmet? No. Are you not going to put this Merc helmet oh, on? Oh, yeah, I guess I can. When it goes to your set, you might as cool. well. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Covers up my beautiful face, though. Well, you can always, uh, you know, check it off, Jinx, if you don't want it on. Yeah. Which is what I did with all her armor. Uh, toggle visibility. Because yeah, I want her I to look Western. Annoying. <laughs> I want her to look Western, Jinx. Her stupid hat. What are you I talking about? I just don't about? like Lucy. <laughs> My hat is cool. At all. I like that hat. It reminds me of Carl. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. I didn't like him either. All right, so we needed to go this away, I think. I think it's this way. Down here, maybe? Yeah, this looks about right. Oh, yep. Shady business going mm -hmm. on here. All right, so let's go inside to Little Vegas. Maybe. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Having a little bit of trouble. This place looks nice. Yeah. Oh, we about to do some Follow the call of the disco ball. We gonna get drunk. <laughs> now, we don't actually like to gamble, guys. I know. I tried. We went to Vegas a couple years ago. It wasn't our first time in Vegas, uh, but it was our first time that we... Or not my first time, but it was the first time together that we had decided to try gambling it was so lame. It sucked. I did win like seven dollars. Yeah, we won a first, you know, slot thingy. We won a few dollars overall, but then of course we spent that that few dollars. I think we didn't spend much. I think of like our own money, not like counting the winnings that we spent. We, I think we only spent like twenty bucks on gambling. Yeah, Game which apparently was not enough to get free drinks. This is Daisy. Sounds like you're at the Little Vegas, judging by all that noise in the background. Remember, your first order of business is to find Delgado. Maybe somebody in there has seen him. While you're at it, if you can prove that Brago made a deal with the Dorseys, feel free to take that bastard down. Best of luck, Rangers. Daisy out. Welcome to Little Vegas. He said that. It looked like they're about to pay out. <laughs> Things ain't never going to pay out. But yeah, as Jinx was saying, we we did not gamble enough to get the free drinks. No. We had to buy our they drinks. They just looked at us like, mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were all like looking at them like, hey, you want to walk over here and take my drink like, order? Well, maybe I would have gambled more if I was drunker. <laughs> Welcome to oh, I thought we Vegas. needed to talk to this person. Oh, okay. You just walked through there. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. a barricade, too. I did, too. Oh, the dance floor, oh, Jinx. Oh, shit. We need to be dancing. How do you dance on this? Yeah, I guess you could do like dance. a circle. Oh, wow. Look at what some of a these people prostitute? are wearing. He's I mean, naked. I suppose that's fitting. You'd have... There's a female and a male for whatever you happen to like. And a robot. I don't like either for, of them. That's for Jinx then, the robot. Where's the robot? Disco bot. Well, let's... That's him? Oh, he's the DJ, isn't he? It, yeah, maybe. He ain't for sale. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's supposed to be like the disco ball. He's the disco bot, though, Jinx. Oh, he looks like he's like about to explode, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He gets like crazy. Maybe it's supposed to be like disco made me do it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk to the prostitute. Okay. Having a good time. Huh? Oh, okay. I thought you might be able to buy her. <laughs> nope. I want to hear what the mail sounds like. Having a good time, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he ain't here for me. <laughs> he said I should let you guys through. But don't even think about messing with that computer behind me. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken. And there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Well, maybe if a fight broke out I would, but nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place, would they? Uh, you're not gonna say I said any of this, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. He just not. told us everything if we wanted to set this place on fire. Raven, I got a job for you. 
This man greets you with a smile, but his R's, uh, his R's, his eyes start about. Apparently, apparently I'm a pirate, guys. His, his R's, R's. <laughs> his R's darts about. Never staying focused on your faces. He has a collection of hens and medals uh, strewn across his chest. Oh, he's a hero, or at least he found a bunch of medals. He put thinks on him. he is. Ah, it's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Nose. Farron Brigo's capo, leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all, and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? You see this silver ram medal? You like it? It's my favorite badge. The Patriarch himself gave it to me. Yes, sir, for saving his eldest son. Man, you should have seen the size of that snake. I'm the floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained, and that they don't wander into the back rooms. Why wouldn't I? Isn't that who you are, with your hat so red? Oh well, can't help you if you're confused. Ah, Mr. Brigo's pride and joy, our Pride and joy. He founded this club after coming here from Vegas. Apparently, it emulates the style of Sin City, but I never saw that place myself. You want to talk to the man in charge? You'll find Mr. Brigo upstairs. Elgato? What? Oh! Delgado, you said. Nah, name doesn't ring any bells, sorry. I can. Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case, no. Jokes aside, Mr. Brigo doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. And we take Mr. Brigo's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him, not me. Until next time, Red Hats. I didn't really care about his badges, guys. I know, right? We're trying to butter him up. Yeah, so I think that's the back there, and then this is, like, where we need to go to go talk to Mr. Brigo. So I don't know what's in the back rooms. I'm curious. I gotta know. So we got the slots, which I assume we can play. Do some gambling. Mm -hmm. We could do some gambling. I don't know why people gamble with, like, the electronic slots. Like, it's a computer. Like, you know that they can control all that, right? I can control all, but it's all sham. Like, yeah, you might be the one they decide to let win that night. That's really what you're hoping, is it? Mm -hmm. That you're the lucky one who gets to win. Okay, there's a, some stairs up here. Wait, no one's wearing any pants. I feel right at home here. Because <laughs> why would you wear any pants in the club? Uh, this is the private party here. Private party. Hell yeah. What are you rents doing in here? This is a private party. None of your fucking business. Ah, oh, they're mercs. Happened to be in town when the Dorseys attacked, so we paid them to help us out. Nice to see him putting the Patriarch's money to good use. <laughs> Defending Colorado Springs and beating those toothless shit-kicker Dorseys to a bloody paste. Local 168, let me hear you! Woo! <laughs> Yeah? Well, you picked the wrong room. Ain't no Delgado here, and no Marshalls neither. No, no. You ain't getting off that easy. The local 168 don't like being spied on. Or talking to pissant little runts like you. What we do like is fighting. And that's what this party's been missing. Ain't that right, crew? So let's go, runts. It's time to dance. <laughs> hey!
Hey, now, hold on. We was looking for a throwdown, not a gun down. We don't get in killing fights, unless somebody's paying. Uh, what was it you wanted again? Maybe we can help you out. Yeah, we saw him. That Charlie Nose fella? Dragged him into the back rooms behind the bar. Used to be a union. Scrap Miners Local number 168. Organized when we was working the yard in Steeltown. Pay was shit, conditions were brutal, hours were criminal. So we unionized. Smart, right? Not so much. Boss Markham sacked us and hired a bunch of refugees to take our jobs. So we had to find a new way to make coin. Decided we could use our muscles for fighting just as well as mining, and reformed as a mercenary company. Local 168. Best there is, if you can afford union rates. Good. We got drinking to do. We could have done some boxing or something, guys, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a killer, man. In real life, too, sometimes. Like, I don't never killed anybody, of course, but I mean, like, when I get into fights, I'm that's the way they, my mentality is always like, I've got to kill these people. Uh, because where I grew up, you don't know what they're going to do if you lose. Yeah, or how far they're going to take it. Yeah, like, how much, like, if you lose, are they going to stomp you? Probably. How badly are they going to stomp you? And so, like, I always had the mentality, like, you don't want to, you don't want to lose because you don't know how bad it's going to be. And so I oh, fight to, damn. fight to win, man. We do need a fight, though. What? What do we need a box match for? So that Raven can fuck with this computer and burn the place down. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well, is that if we had done that, then we could have started the fight. But I don't want to start the fight and pull them off right now. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, obviously we're not even close to being done here. Uh, I think we can go up and talk to the to the boss, I suppose. Just waltz up there. Well, he he said we can go back there. There's also this other back way. I guess we didn't check that. Uh, I guess we'll go up there real quick. The guy's name is Shakes. <laughs> is he shaky? All right, so let's just go up here and see what's Number up here. Is today. Oh, oh, okay. This brothel. is this is if, where the, you get the prostitutes. Okay, I thought that it had to have prostitutes. Like, what is going on with these prostitutes? These prostitutes don't He's have open any door. to brush their hair. I need a foot stool. Oh, okay. So this is like, what kind of hooker do you want? Okay. So we got a dominatrix, dominatrix. here. Want to sit with me? All right, and then we've got... Just want to sit and talk about your feelings. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you're going to do a lot more <laughs> than that, Jinx. But yeah, probably after you're done, you can talk about some feelings. Come on. You know you. Uh, I don't, there's cum everywhere. That's yeah, I don't, nasty. Yeah, that is pretty nasty. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, it's like all over the walls. Oh, and if you want to do the weapons, mm -hmm. then he's for you. Yeah, and then also oh, it's everywhere. If you like seeing yourself in the mirror while you do it. True. And I think it's supposed to be like a Motel Six. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes me think of that. Let's Nothing's see what this one is. Cooler than the other side of the pillow. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You just want to work oh. out naked? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, it's like a gym type of situation. That's weird. Okay. Well, I mean, it's they got a little something for everybody. They really do. Oh, wow. No. Oh, my God. No, I've got to rescue him. Animals, man. Yeah. Bestiality. Oh, that's... I want to talk to it, but I'm afraid that it'll take my money. Let's try again. Slowly this time. No, I know how to do it. I just don't feel like it right now. Hey, hey, who the hell are you guys? I, I, I don't need help. I just, I just changed my mind. And, and now I'm leaving. Bite me. I'm out of here. Come back any time, Benji. <laughs> School's always in session. I know you like what you're looking at. So I didn't want to cockblock him like that, <laughs> but 
at the same time, he was kind of being a little bitch. So then I realized that he was going to leave. And so I was like, okay, let's he try and correct this. Yeah. So that's why I tried to say, come on, practice makes perfect. It's a very special Try it out. moment for him. Mm hmm. Uh, so it says here that this woman wears her age like a gift. Her red rose smile is uh, conspiration. Consp- conspiratorial? I'm just guessing on that pronunciation. I'm going to butcher that. Is that how you pronounce that, Jinx? What is that? Cons- conspiratorial. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think so. Uh, like something like- intended just for you, uh, she uncrosses and recrosses her legs, drawing your attention south. And for a small <gasps> fee, I'll show you things you had no idea you wanted. I mean, it's $10. <laughs> That's a low, low price. But at the same time, I mean, I don't know. You know what is also $10? Yeah. The goat. <laughs> oh, did you try? I was trying Jinx, to... Jinx, what have you been doing to the goat? I was going to rescue the goat. I was wondering why Jinx couldn't look on her her screen to see how to how to say that. Because she's not in this conversation no, with us. No, I was trying Jinx to is rescue over there the goat. Messing with that goat. Oh, my God, Jinx. <sighs> you know I I'm don't ashamed. like goats. I'm ashamed, dear. <laughs> I mean, it's like $10, experienced woman. I say, like, sure, let's do this thing. Yes, ma'am. Strip and get ready to take notes. You'll want to remember the things I show you. In front of everyone? Mm-hmm. Wow. I think we're all going to get involved. This is the whole Ranger Squad, Jinx. Oh, you got a boost. Or a buff. Yeah, it seems to give us something. So come back from my apple pie anytime, big boy. Ew, you didn't right. eat it, did you? <laughs> I sure hope not. That's no. That's crusty old pie. <laughs> I would know better than that, I would think. Uh, so we're trying to... Ins- I wanted to inspect him. I want to see what that thing is that we have here. Uh, Ace in the hole. You sure went all in with that one. <laughs> Plus 25% critical chance. Okay. Okay. Good to have. So can you just bump that uglies right. with any one of them? Just all of them. All of them? Is it all $10? Oh, I bet they give you, like, different boosts. You think so? Yeah, I bet the muscles guy gives you, like, strength or something. Let, well, let's oh. test that theory. We're going to spend all our money in the whorehouse? It's $10, Jinx. This is the most beautiful woman you ever met. She puts a hand to her chest. I'm sorry. My heart skipped when you walked in. I never expected anyone like you to come to a place like this. I hope... I hope you're here for me. I... I wish... I didn't have to ask for money. I don't want it to be like that between us. But they won't let me stay here if I don't charge. So I'm afraid you'll have to pay before we can be together. Okay? Be gentle with me. All right. You could have at least let Bear have a go. Is it the way that it works? Is it just whoever clicks? I think so, yeah. Oh, you yeah. All so, the boosts. Okay. Yeah. Please. Let's take a look at what this boost is to see if Jinx's theory is correct. Uh-oh. Oops. I'm getting my big gun yeah, What are you doing? B- getting Shoot my big gun. Rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to, to look at my, my stuff here. Okay, here we go. Dealer's choice. You've been dealt perfection itself. Ooh, plus five percent experience bonus. All right, so yeah, you could probably like go to all the horrors and find out what each one grants. Could also be random. Uh, again, it could be <laughs> random. Yeah, you're right. Oh, there's a locker here for me to pick. So okay, you then pick the locker. Tied up. Are you gonna? Uh, oh. Do you want any of the bonuses? I guess we'll get bear something. I feel messed up. I'm the only one that's got anything. <laughs> And I went two times in a row. All right, so yeah, we'll do the the Queen of Hearts with Bear. I'm inspecting you. I just feel like this is Bear's style here. This is how he'd like it. A uh, leather-clad woman crosses her legs and leans forward. Her riding crop bounced on her knee. Hmm. You'll do. It costs money for my attention, pet. Pay, and I'll show you the joys of knowing your place. Now. Let's think about safe words. All right, so we'll see. It's safe, I promise. We'll see if Bear gets a different 
a different one, and if it, it feels like it's... Dismissed. Damn! It's called Bear Pathetic. Now his self-esteem's gonna nice. be all messed up. Uh, so let's see. Bad Beat. You've been very naughty. Evasion plus 15%. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. No, there's nothing to really indicate that it's specific to that. Uh, so let's... Try to figure out how to get out of all these modes here. So does anybody else want a whore? You yeah, get the whole crew. You sure? Yeah. Quan doesn't want none? I'm not really <laughs> sure what he's into. He could be into any of them all, for all I know. No, it feels like the male prostitutes got no love here. The ladies need, uh, they don't need nothing? No one's even going to say anything about my penis head. You have a penis head? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea, James. I didn't even see it. Did you get all that from in there? The locker, yeah. <laughs> you can run around like that? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to work. I need money. <laughs> $10, though? Really? <laughs> That's just... And how much of a cut does Little Vegas take? None. That just doesn't seem worth it at all. I'm in it for myself. All I right, give no, so. no perks or bonuses, though. <laughs> no perks or bonuses. <laughs> get nothing from being with James. <laughs> you just give lots of money out. <laughs> So that is unfortunately going to be the end of the episode. We'll have to go and talk to the boss man in the next one because we just spent too much time with the prostitutes. And too much money. It's 20 bucks, Jinx, or 30 bucks. That's too much. That's really not a bad price for I guess it's cheaper than buying drinks three for Three prostitutes. Someone. Yeah. You know how much we'd spend on drinks here if we were drinking instead to get these same bonuses? Uh, it'd be, I guess I it'd know, cost about $10 for $8, me, too. $8, $8 per drink. <laughs> What, ten dollars what to get you drunk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jinx is a cheap date, man. She gets drunk pretty quick. Uh but yeah, this is gonna be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode where we'll go talk to the boss man and, and see what the hell's going on in this place. Uh, so I'll see you then and thanks for watching guys.